If we can get that Gotha down as well, dude, that'd be insane. <laughs> but let's have a look. Oh my god, dude! Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we're gonna be testing out You Are Engraved Festival Merlin in JP PvP. So we've gone for four attack and two crit damage because she crits like a beast if you got Ladociel on the team. And that's the setup we're gonna be running today. Uh, so yesterday as well, for the initial video, I didn't use the Sariel link and we also didn't have Hendrickson on the back, uh, which makes her AoE card hit so much harder as well. So yeah, we've gone for a few improvements Improvements to really up the damage today, man. Uh, so hopefully she's gonna be really, really fun to play around with. But overall, this team does have like lower combat class in comparison to top meta setups. However, here we've also got a connoisseur running Lolly Merlin as well. Uh, so yeah, should be hopefully a bit of a fun match here. They do have um, uh, Goddess Liz as well. So I think let's go for the upgrade on Merlin. Let's uh, see if we can one shot. Liz here, I think she's the highest one to create. And then we'll go for the cleave as well, just to get that uh, Merlin down a little bit. Because again, Merlin deals uh, more damage the higher her health is. Okay, dude, insta 250k off a silver card. And then we just one shot Liz. Um, yeah, okay, that was, <laughs> what was that match? Um, he, that was crazy, dude. That was actually crazy. All right, now next up, we've got Escanor Sariel team here. Okay, there's no protection on this one, man. This could be very, very fun. I think we just one bang, one bang the Escanor gold card turn one. I think it's got to be done, mate. I think it's got to be done, and we should have some all right protection from um uh, Sariel as well. Maybe I should have gone for the silver card first. <laughs> But let's have a look. So 300k insta one shot Escanor there. Let's go for the cleave as well. And uh, my goodness, dude. That, that's a pretty big den, man. That is a pretty big den. I think she scales up so nicely as well with Hendy on the back. Because it increases the damage of um, her cleave card by an additional 50% there. So yeah, that, that was a little bit nutty, bro. But anyway, let's move on to our next opponent. All right, now next up, we got Lolly. Oh, dude, we got the mirror matchup. So exactly the same team by the look of it here. However, we do have the combat class advantage. So I think here, let's go for upgrade on Lolly Merlin. And then I think we actually go for one shot on Gotha here. I think. Yeah, I, th I think it's more beneficial here to kill Gotha and just get... Oh my god, dude. That Ludo just got wiped there. <laughs> so much damage out, but I was thinking as well, the overall cleave damage off that silver card was actually greatly mitigated by uh, Merlin's passive there. But she's nuts, bro. She's blowing everybody up today. All right. Now, next up, we got King Losfain Liz team. 242 there. Um, oh. Okay, I think, based off what we saw in a previous, this play might work, or I might get clapped. Um, I'm gonna gamble for it. I'm hoping I can kill, like, one of these two. Maybe King, actually, and then just one-shot Lost Vein here. Let's, uh, let's see if it pays off. Oh, yes! Oh, no, actually... Did we trigger the revive? I don't think we did trigger the revive. No, we didn't. Okay. So we've double upgraded Lost Vein. Um, bit of a tight spot. If he was a king merger, I think he can merge and then purify everything and then heal up. I think he's probably going to full send on Lost Vein here. He doesn't have a third card. He actually still might be able to get Merlin down. Her passive is going to stop um, Merlin from taking more than 40% from a single card. Okay, also petrifying Gotha there. Okay, I think we've actually got the play to clean this up now. I think if we go for this, and then let's use the... Let's actually use the Merlin card first. So we'll see that full damage if we can. Let's go for the Merlin card here. 61k. <laughs> Not too much, but again, we are attacking to disadvantage there. Perfect, mate. Perfect. 
Oh, dude, she's got a very strong turn one, man. Opponent has forfeited the match. Well, I certainly don't blame them. But anyway, let's uh, let's move on, shall we? This new Merlin is literally Ladociel's new best friend, man. Oh, no. Okay, dude, we haven't actually seen this play yet. I, I hope we can get it off. So I want to go straight into the Golden Cleave card here and just see uh, just see what happens, man. So again, we got 50% more damage having Hendrickson on the back. So let's have a, a look at this, man. 280%. Oh my god, dude! 500,000 damage! This Merlin has zero chill, boys. My goodness. Alright, so we just skipped ahead the end of that match and a few bot matches. And I've also switched to wine food as well. So I've dropped combat class food for now just to get some more points. Because we need some chunkier opponents, man. But I think here, turn one, we got to go for the upgrade on Merlin and snipe Escanor here. Dude, if we had that level 3 golden AoE, man, we'd be absolutely laughing here. Oh, man, I thought we almost banged Escanor there, just with uh, the level 2. But yeah, I think a level 3, we'd probably be able to kill Sariel and Escanor turn 1. If we had the additional card, because it would be like, upgrade Merlin, single target Sariel, level 3 ki uh, kills Escanor, man. It's nuts, mate. Okay, we're taking a, a maybe a double cleave here. Oh, dude, go through is hanging in there very nicely. Um, okay, I'm thinking about what we're gonna go for here. I think we go for the Ludo card, the Ludo card, and then I think that should be enough if we get a crit to get Sariel down. Actually, we do have the Revive to worry about as well, so actually I think we need to send in the Merlin card as well. Actually, I should have probably just gone for Ludo's, like, cleave in hindsight there. <laughs> and yeah, save the, the Merlin card, I think, for next turn. Free the Gotha or Liz. But uh, it still works out well here. Dude, such a strong opening play every single time of Merlin, man. She really does have a lot of firepower. Oh, dude, that upgrade is very, very nice. I think here we can probably, um... Do we have to play to kill everybody? I think if we're really lucky, we actually might still have the play to kill everybody. Merlin has taken a bit of a beating, so her passive is down a bit. But I think if this kills Gotha here, we might be able to one-shot Liz. Mm. It's a bit of a cheeky play. We'll see if we can do it. But she has been hitting like a truck. We actually don't have Ladociel's, um... Debar. Oh, dude, it still did it, man! Oh my god! There was no passive on that friggin' Liz as well. Okay, that is that was that was still only like a bronze card, man. And we weren't fully topped up as well, so that was that was actually mental damage. I I thought it was an ambitious play in my head. I was like, I was probably not gonna kill, but it did. <laughs> So yeah, I'm so impressed by this Merlin man. Like every video that I do of her, I just get more and more appreciation for the character. Uh, but anyway, let's move on to our next opponent. All right, now next up, is this like an assault mode melee team here? It is. We got Estorosa as well. There's no cheat death here, man. So I think we're chilling. Um, but I think we just need to one shot that melee, and we should be good. So I think if we go for this, I might as well throw off the cleave as well. Um. We are going to have Estorosa's Commandment on the second card. So the second card, I don't think it's going to hit that hard. But hopefully it's enough to clean up Melee here. Oh, dude, it's plenty of damage. Dude, what? Oh, actually, no, we don't have Esther's Commandment. Because um, he's put it in so we have Droll's Commandment instead. <laughs> so yeah, we didn't even need to worry about that, man. That was absolutely fine. <laughs> And there we go, opponents forfeit the match. And that last match is uh, an example of how Assault Melee is currently flawed if you don't run him alongside Melascula. Okay, dude, we got a fat CC player here, man. This could be very interesting. However, there's no turn one protection for the Escanor. So as long as we get the crits here, man, we, we big chilling. I think this, uh, this team's going down. And this is a very, very popular team 
for global PvP right now, man. <laughs> Just instantly turn once the Escanor. No, bro! This Merlin's gonna make more Goddess Liz players come back. <laughs> Oh my god. I got 30 points for winning that last match as well, man. So he's right at the top of the bracket. Fell a little bit bad on that one. Here, though, we have Goddess Liz, and he's got the lucky start. <gasps> he's got a lucky start, dude, but we've got a really, really lucky start. Oh my gosh. Okay, I think the safest play here is to actually one-tap this Liz and then smash into Escanor. So we should trigger the revive on Liz. And then we just one-shot Escanor turn one. My god, dude! We didn't even crit the Escanor there! That's why I went for the, what is it, Silver on Liz. Just a little bit safer there, because she's much easier to crit in comparison to Escanor. A Derriere on the back. Okay, Derriere on the back's a little bit interesting, man. Um, could, could be our downfall. We still actually do have the passive damage mitigation. But yeah, there we go. Opponent has uh, <laughs> forfeited the match. <laughs> Absolute insanity. Alright, now next up, we got an Escanor, Sariel, Gotha team here. Uh, maybe Death Pierce on the back as well. Oh my good lord. Hmm. Question is, does that Escanor have a health set or not? He doesn't have a health set. Okay, I think we can cleave him down here. I'm going to go for the big cleave turn one. Let's do it, man. Full send here. I think it is actually the best play. If we can get that Gotha down as well, dude, that'd be insane. <laughs> but let's have a look. Oh my god, dude! We wiping the whole squad apart from Sariel and the opponent instantly forfeited, man. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, but that is it for today's Festival Merlin gameplay video in Elite PvP. Let me know your thoughts on this character in the comments section below. She is ridiculously fun to play on the whale bullying Ladociel team, but I'm also very curious to see moving forward if there's going to be some sort of like top meta high CC team with Festival Merlin. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit curious, man. We tested out the Eastern Keo comp yesterday, but also much like the Ladociel one, it's a little bit lower on the the CC side. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm a bit interested, man, see if there is going to be like a top meta Merlin team and strategy. Uh, but let me know your thoughts. Aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Take care and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending? Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.